PTV Rosalind Lester. I'm Hector Galliano. I'm Aiden Wayne. I'm PTV's Charlie Harder. I'm Eo Gifford. Welcome back to PTV at PHS. I'm PTV's Tyler Ritchie. Topping our show, the mask mandate in Marshall County underwent a recent update. This past Tuesday, Governor Eric Holcomb's mask mandate turned into just an advisory, and Marshall County decided to follow suit. Prior to Tuesday, the county building, the clerk's office, and the courthouse all required the public and employees to wear masks while inside the buildings. However, this week, those signs requiring the public to mask up before entering were removed. Barriers are still in place to allow for social distancing between employees and the public. Business owners within Marshall County can still require patrons to wear a mask while inside if they choose. The old Ponderosa Steakhouse restaurant that closed at the beginning of the pandemic will soon see new life. The North Michigan Street location is the new site location for Culver's restaurant. We got a peek of the blueprints by checking out the Plymouth Technical Review Committee meeting March board meeting minutes. The plan shows two drive through lanes and more than 35 parking spots, 34 tabletops inside the Wisconsin-owned franchise, and 104 seats. Currently, there are more than 740-plus Culver's locations around the United States. This week, the PHS National Honor Society and the PHS Key Club teamed up for an in-person service project to benefit the Women's Care Center here in Plymouth. Members of both clubs raised money to purchase material to make 50 child-sized fleece blankets that were donated to the nonprofit organization. The Women's Care Center provides free confidential counseling and support and education for pregnant women along with free pregnancy tests and ultrasounds. They also provide a way for women to earn dollars to buy items needed by young mothers in need. Women can earn these dollars to spend at the Women's Care Center by attending parenting classes and counseling services provided by the center. Due to the pandemic, this is one of the first in-person service projects both clubs have been able to participate in this school year. How this works is the moms and the prospective families who go to the Human Women's Care Center earn points by attending classes, um, parenting classes. They get points for um, getting their kids vaccinated. Um, they get points for taking their kids to well doctor visits. And as they earn points, they get to shop in the Women's Care Center Crib Club store. And one of the things that they can get for their kids with their points from their classes are these blankets. This month, PCSC is able to offer students in grades 7 through 12 the Get Schooled Virtual Tour. The, Get tour, is the tour is a mental health education program that provides self-awareness and resilience help virtually. The tour takes off Wednesday, April 14th at 9.45 a.m. here at PHS. Further information about the Get School Tour can be found at GetSchoolTour.com, where we found the video all about the tour. Just an FYI, PCSE will not be providing this opportunity to the corporation's virtual students. Information about a modified bell schedule will be coming soon. If you love the smell and taste of rotisserie chicken, you will soon be able to get your hands on some right here at Plymouth High School. And it will all be for a great cause. Plymouth Education Association members will be holding their annual Nelson Chicken Dinner Carryout Fundraiser next Friday at April 16th from 3.15 to 5.30 p.m. Tickets are 7 bucks per dinner and proceeds will go towards a Plymouth High School senior or seniors who want to pursue a degree in education. The students who will receive a PEA scholarship must demonstrate academic excellence and outstanding personal achievements during their high school careers. Tickets can be bought by calling the number you see on your screen, or you can contact Mrs. Laura Cryer via email or stop by her room, which is 204. If you are looking to go straight into the workforce right after high school, the masonry industry is ready to roll out the red carpet for you, no matter if you are a male or a female. Both the South Bend and Fort Wayne Apprenticeship Program is recruiting and has a seat open for you to be, to be a part of the four-year program where you will start out earning $18 an hour as you learn. The Apprenticeship Program offers a 10% raise every six months. Once you complete the program, you will be considered a journeyman or a journeywoman and you will be paid $30 per hour. The job includes two pensions, health insurance. If you know anyone that might be interested, they can call State Instructor Daniel Flores at 574 320-6369. Super Sunday is an annual celebration held each year at PHS, which includes both the National Honor Society induction and the induction for the students that made it to the Plymouth High School Academic Hall of Fame. This year, Super Sunday will be held on Sunday, May 16th. Last year, the celebrations had to be held virtually, but we have some great news this year for our seniors. Both of these celebrations will be able to take place in person. Attendance to attend the Super Sunday event is by invitation only. 
Turning to some PTV sports news, the PHS Athletic Department held an in-person letter of intent signing yesterday for Nick Anders. Anders made it official in the varsity gym on Wednesday that he will advance his education and athletic career at college level by attending IU Kokomo this fall. Right, Anders received a four-year renewable academic scholarship and will be on both of the IU Kokomo cross-country and track teams. Anders was joined by the athletic staff along with his family and closest peers for his LOI signing event. Cheerleading tryouts for next school year are coming up. Learning and evaluation dates are set up for April 21st and 23rd from 7 to 9 p.m. here at PHS in one of the gyms, which will soon be determined. Anyone that is wishing to try out to be a PHS cheerleader must attend both the learning and evaluation days. The final evaluation day is April 26th by appointment in groups of three. This is beginning at 3.45 p.m. and the trials for each group will last approximately 15 minutes. Those that are wishing to try out will have the opportunity to choose a time that works best for them, taking spring sports and extracurricular events into consideration. The PHS coaching staff says that they will do their best to accommodate all schedules related to PHS activities. For more information, stop by the PHS library and speak to Coach Tracy Hilliard. That's a wrap for this week's PTV show. I'm PTV's Tyler Ritchie. Have a great weekend, everybody, and stay healthy.